Very Chicago place. Look at the cubby colors even. <laughs> I know, this place is great. And it's one of the few times I get to wear my Bears uh, outfit uh, jersey thing that I like uh, to wear when I'm on camera. Because it is National Illinois Day. Do you, do you know what this thing is, you guys? Does anybody recognize this? This is a clincher yeah, softball. I've seen those balls. The old clincher. Yeah. The 16 inch, and when you first start the game, you could literally break your fingers trying to catch this thing. No gloves, but I used to play this all the time. But yeah, I'm at the uh, Chicago Hamburger Company, and look what I've got with Bob's the owner. Bob, say your last name. Papanduras. Yeah, do you have any relatives or your brothers and sisters? Oh yeah, yeah, I got three of them back in Chicago. Yeah, what are their names? Uh, John, Pam, Rick. Just as simple as easy. That's just like my family. Bob, Dan, Bill, Jan, Ed, Joan, Rick, nothing funky. I threw Jan in, but she's in Atlanta, so she hasn't gotten to Chicago. <laughs> You've been here a long time. Uh, it's National Illinois Day. You're doing something for your employees between now and the 15th. Tell everybody what it's about. Um, every year uh, from Thanksgiving on in shopping season, any gift certificates we sell or any t-shirts we sell goes into their pool for their Christmas bonus. I already have a pool that I put together, but anything on, above beyond that, every penny of it goes towards them. Yeah, so this is one of the shirts he's selling. How much are you selling the shirt for? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Check it out. Turn around, Bob. Show them the back. So you got your, uh, your fastball, your curveball, you got your knuckleball, and of course, the slider. <laughs> and that's why we're here. Bob, come on over here. Let's show off some of your food here. Again, t-shirts, ten bucks. These sliders are so great. Remember having these as a kid? Sure, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, I remember more having them not remembering at 2 in the morning. So I was here the day after the Cubs won the World Series. You handed out a lot of free sliders that day. You made a commitment, and you stuck to it. We gave away 2,018 sliders that day. We sure did. Holy yeah. cow. So I remember when uh, the Cubs won, I think the first thing I did was a double shot of Crown Royal. What would you do? Um, I took a shower because I knew I had to come right back to work. I was going to have my busiest day ever. Hey, let's give everybody a tour of this place really quick before we start talking about the food. It's so Chicago. I absolutely love it. And you and I grew up in the same era. We watched every Walter Payton game. We watched Ernie Banks at his 500th home run. Yep. That whole bit. This must take you down the memory lane every day you come in. Absolutely. And it's, you know, and it's a collection over 40 years. I, the restaurant's been over 40 years. And two-thirds of it are stuff that people brought me in. You know, is that it, yeah, right? I think I bought two things in this whole place. It's just people bring it in. They want to see it here. Maybe their mom and dad had it and they're cleaning out the garage or something. Says you want this and for something old and cool and brings back our memories. Yes. I say, yeah, for something new. I'm like, I got no use. Yeah. Yeah. I like the old stuff as well. In fact, my high school pennant is hanging in a hot dog shop here in town as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hersey <laughs> High School went to Hersey. Well, let's walk everybody through some of the grub you got going yeah. here because it's total Chicago style stuff. All right, uh, sliders, although they don't originate in Chicago, are a number one seller here. White Castle, obviously, is what they're, what they're based on back sure. home. Uh, the quintessential hot dog of Chicago dog, mustard, relish, onion, pickled tomatoes, sport pepper, celery, salt. That's the way a Chicago dog looks. And I like the relish. It's like it came out of a nuclear plant. Oh, it's neon green relish. Yeah, it comes from the city that dries, dyes its green river greener on St. Patty's Day. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, and then what do we got here? Italian beef sandwich. This is uh, sliced roast beef. Cook it in an au you put it on Italian bread, you dip it a little bit in au jus, then you top with hot and sweet peppers, both of those we make here. Yeah, um, I had that in my crib. I love yeah. Italian <laughs> beef, it's the best. And then what do we got going uh, here? Chili cheese fries, just a way to dress up some fries, gives you a little more protein. So I saw this thing on the wall over here, never put ketchup on a hot dog. Uh, I know it's illegal in Cook County, but I guess you're allowing it here. I'll let Corey uh, come you know, in on that. If you're willing to pay for your dog, absolutely, I'll put ketchup on it. <laughs> I love the fact that you have a special a hot dog with fries, five ninety five. You still make the price points reasonable. I love that about your place. Yeah, yeah we're an everyday joint. You know, I've got a lot of working folks that come in here besides the neighborhood. Yeah. You know, and that's that's what this food is. You know, it's regular everyday food. Is it a daily trip down memory lane when people come in here, especially Chicagoans? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, everybody wants to reminisce, talk about where they're from. They'll always want to know if I ate at their hot dog joint by their house, and I would tell them I have to pass about 40 of them to get to theirs. Uh, so uh, I had my ones in my neighborhood, you had yours in your neighborhood, and they have theirs. Absolutely. I remember Peeps Hot Dogs. You get a hot dog with fries. The fries was as big as a football. You get, like, this huge thing of fries, and I imagine you had a place like that near your house as well. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And then I grew up, and my dad had a hot dog joint in the south side, so we all grew up working there. Oh, that's great. One last time, you guys, 10 bucks for the T-shirt. It's going to his Christmas fund for his employees. Now, you were telling me, uh, well, really quick as we wrap up, you've got, these employees have been here a long time. I only have one less than 20 years, from 32 wow. years to 
24. My one guy who has been her less than that has been her 14 years. Oh, that's great. Bob, us Chicago guys got to stick right. together, my you friend. It, Good Thanks, job, man. buddy. Yeah, that's fantastic. Sure, thank you. Swing by, you guys. Get some sliders. Get your beef. Get your uh, Chicago uh, hot dog for sure. Make sure you get the relish under. No so ketchup, good. okay? Uh, and don't forget the T-shirts. Ten bucks. Got to get the that. T-shirt. Yeah, the slider. Hey, give me the address happy, again, Tom. Happy where National Illinois Day. Where, where is this place? Again, yeah, we're at uh, gotta eat there. 37th Avenue in Indian School. You oh, can't perfect. miss it. It's got a blue roof. You can't miss it. Yeah. All right. Sounds great. How fun. It's really, I feel like this has been a Chicago day because of you, Tom. I love that. Chicago day.